update of week three i still have covid <laughs> that's not changed it is monday the 11th it is 25 past six in the evening and this is my first update of the day and of the week i have now read 10 books most of those in the last two days during the weekend of peace talks because i was just like i need short books what short books can i read so i reread all of heartstopper well, the first four volumes anyway. And Nick and Charlie and This Winter. And I finished I Hear the Sunspot as well. Um, but yeah, I read six books in the Weekend of Peace Talks. So I'm pretty pleased with that. 60 extra points for Team Serene. And then today I have just finished my copy of Windswept and Interesting. The live show is going to be this Sunday. So I'm all prepped for that. There were a couple of bits that I had to clip on the audiobook because they're so funny. So yeah, I'm just a bit concerned because this is due back in two days and I'm positive for COVID and I don't know what I need to do. So I'm taking my next test tomorrow. So tomorrow is day five. It's day four currently of COVID. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. COVID, sit rep. It's going down on my chest a little bit. I've been coughing a lot. I've had that dry cough. I'm knackered because of it. I have no energy. I have subsisted mainly on chocolate today to give me oops, any energy. I've read a full draft of the fanfic that I'm baiting and oh my god, I love it so much. She's done such a good job with capturing the characters and their voices and so good. I'm trying to think what I want to go on to next. Obviously, I've got loads of library loans. They're probably going to be top of my list because they have to go back. So I might start on Fable because I'm already behind on that read-along. Also, I started Ecstasy by KV Rose last night, which is an for another read-along that I'm doing that my friend Asta's running at Just Smutty Things on Instagram. You should go follow her. It's great fun. And we all agree what the hell was that first chapter. Like, it is a wild freaking ride. <laughs> it's also nothing like what I normally read and especially what I read leading up to picking that book up, I was reading Heartstopper. So fluff, this is a lot. There are trigger warnings for it in the description, but I'm so intrigued about where it's going to go. And it's a trilogy. It's a first in a trilogy and Asta's doing the whole trilogy. <laughs> so for this read along amongst other books. So it's going to be... I don't want to say fun, but it's going to be interesting. I keep saying I'll pick up different books. I've said I'll pick up Fable next. I've said I'll pick, I'll pick up Under the Whispering Door or Addie LaRue. I've said I'll pick up Ecstasy. And it's just my reading taste is all over the place. I literally, I'm blaming the COVID brain. I'm forgetting things because of it. I say one thing and then do completely the opposite. <laughs> I'm blaming the COVID brain. But anyway, I'm going to pick up Fable now. Definitely read that for a little bit and see where the evening takes me. Still positive. God damn it! If anything, that's just as strong. I'm day five. Hello. So it is Tuesday. We are even more positive than we were on Friday. Here's my Friday one, just for a comparison. Friday today. So yeah, I'm in a great mood. But as you can see, I got dressed, I brushed my teeth today, but then out of nowhere, Mother Nature decided to throw me a curveball and, um, yeah. Monthly gift plus, um, COVID is miserable. I've offloaded all of my footage for last week and now I'm going to try and edit week two's vlog. I'm going to try and get that done ideally by the end of tomorrow so I can upload it tomorrow or Wednesday. 
and have that ready to go early access on patreon even though i don't have any patrons yet so if anyone wants to become a patreon supporter link in the description you get early access to my youtube channel character q and a's with my book characters and one other perk at the lowest tier which is a pound you get more perks obviously as it goes up the highest tier is limited to 50 people because it's a crazy amount of money i'm gonna see if i can limit it to just a one-off like payment for people who s sign up to that tier it's 20 pound and you get access to everything before that plus a full cast audiobook when that gets made so yeah if anyone's interested there are five tiers one pound, two pound, five pound, ten pound, or twenty pounds. Link in the description. I'm gonna be working on finishing this damn book so that I can give it to my editor, the lovely Zoe. Editing, video editing, writing, the book, reading. There's a need to do that. Let's do this. So now I have literally an hour of footage from last week. And like half of it is from the last few days. This is gonna be a fun video to edit. Also, Pete the Bush. She gate crushed my bath. <laughs> the money for my copy of Until the End has just left my account. Which means it'll be here probably in a day or two. Official release day is on two days away. It's happening. It's officially happening at the end of this series. The second end of this series. Ah. <laughs> but also, we've just had news that the Heartstopper trailer is dropping tomorrow as well. So I'm guessing that we're going to see the rest of the cast, which means potentially Bash as Ben. And I'm not sure I can handle this because I love Bash. I think he's great. He's hilarious and sweet and lovely online but he's playing ben ben is an asshole <laughs> and i don't want to <laughs> ah i'm so excited but seeing ben hope actually in the flesh not just a 2d character in a webcomic i think that's gonna mess me up a little bit because of what this character does to charlie <laughs> so I'm losing my sh just a little bit. I think I need to focus on reading the grimoire tonight because I need to catch up. Well, I don't need to catch up. I need to refresh what happens in the Skodoguru world. Um, so I'm ready for that bombshell to drop and prepare for this emotional bombshell when the Heartstopper trailer drops. Oh boy, this week is going to be a week. And then next week, it's next week. <laughs> Next week, Heartstopper actually comes out on Netflix. When I'm in Stratford. I've already messaged like Nori in the group chat, our book club group chat, and just basically said, you do realise I'm staying up to binge all of these episodes when they drop. And they've just said, yeah, we're going to get snacks. And I'm like, yep, snacks. I'm going to need tissues because I'm going to be crying. My little fangirl heart is literally that meme from The Office of, Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. My little brain is just in overdrive right now. Pray for my mental stability or what little is left of it. So I'm on my YouTube homepage, right? And scroll down, just, just one more row. Do you see what I see? It's taunting me. <laughs> I'm doing it. There's a boy in It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> um, I've just had the five minute timer alarm go off on my phone, which means it's five minutes until Heartstopper trailer drops. The only problem is I have a universal credit meeting at 2pm on the phone. 
and I'm just sat here wish like hoping that they're going to be like I, I want to watch this trailer in peace <laughs> um, I don't know how this is going to go the hype man the hype oh my god <laughs> it just changed oh my god <laughs> oh my god let's do this <laughs> yeah mood Oh my god, there's the pen. The snow. Tired of sleep. Oh my god. You can't tease the rain scene like that. You just cut. That's not allowed. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. What? I'm only up to like the Deathbringer part of the series, so this is book six, and we've got some like background on the world. It's basically what this is, it's like a synopsis and retcon and um, like extra world building, like sort of thing. There have been a couple of, of reveals just literally just dropped on me and I'm just like, oh wow, this changes so much. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm excited to see where the rest of the grimoire goes. Like, I assumed I knew everything going into this, but Derek is revealing some things. I've hit, like, a little bit of a, a pause on reading just for a second, because one, I need to take painkillers, and two, because I wanted to talk to you guys. Because what you're about to witness, potentially, is some extremely ugly crying. I've just hit, in the grimoire, as you'll see, I'm about, I'm just over halfway through it. I'm at this point. I've just cut, got to the last stand of dead men bit. And for anyone who knows the series, you know that a couple of big deaths happen in last stand of dead men. I'm not going to say who, or in fact, actually, shit. Skip to this time signature if you don't want to have any spoilers because I'm going to be crying probably in the next minute or so and I will be talking about whose death it is more than likely this is just so that editing just doesn't have to jump around if this waffly explanation is in it you know that I decided to go full spoiler I'm only deciding to go into spoilers for Last and Dead Men because it came out nine years ago it came out nine years ago. Oh god, I feel old. I was in year 12, year 13 when that came out. I was just finishing year 12. F me. <laughs> so yeah, I've carried the hurt from this around with me since 2013. And every time I see Derek, I will be seeing him on Monday, COVID permitting. I better bloody be negative by then. Every time I see him, I make sure to remind him how much this death still hurts me. No doubt when it gets to 
The description of the death in the recap, there will be tears. There are tears for an entire chapter leading up to the chapter that the death happens. So I cry for two chapters worth whenever I reread Last Stand of Dead Men. So there is a high chance of some very ugly crying from me. But I still have the audiobook going, which is very good actually. The Grimoire audiobook is very, very good. This is your forewarning. Skip to this time signature again if you want to avoid any names regarding who dies in Last Stand of Dead Men. Let's do this. Oh, good God. I'm sc I've am actually got butterflies in my stomach. I just had that whooshing feeling. You know when you're really not looking forward to something and your stomach just does that? Yeah, it literally just did. <laughs> so, pray for me. books that have made me cry but I don't think there's one that every single time that I get to this one bit just oh oh my god I, it's literally in this summed up in one two sentences literally it 17 words 16 if you count back up as a as a single word not as a double barrel word and <laughs> like as a writer i applaud because obviously it's made me feel so much and this is what you want out of your readers you want to to know that you're getting the emotional impact from your writing but ghastly no <laughs> anton no not allowed <laughs> I can't even articulate the fact that I think the worst part about it is that it's a literal stab in the back not just a metaphorical one which it is someone you think that is on your side is actually the villain who's been teased since the second book we're now on the eighth at this point but that he literally stabs Castley in the back i just oh my god i knew reading the grimoire that i would get emotional i kind of but also did not expect to cry reading a synopsis Nice. There's no line currently. I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch, but there is currently no line. Chapters of ecstasy. 
as well. Also, premiere's happening. Woo. Big shout out to Janet in the chat. Hi, Mum. Hi. <laughs> she left me all day. She's been in the New Forest. Oh, I've been in a happy place. With the donkeys. A a very happy. And a stupid press. And a Stoford. <laughs> Mum's very happy right now. <laughs> negative test result yes. which means I can go to Bath tomorrow and meet Derek Landy I'm oh, so excited anyway I'm gonna go down and pick Nan up I love that mum's left rubbish in my car as you do but yeah I'm gonna go pick Nan up it is now Easter Sunday we can have Sunday lunch and yeah let's do this